It's amazing how many people that are in a terminal situation can reverse it if they take control of their own, you know, issues. More people should do it. But we give it all up to MDs, the right prescriptions for drugs from drug companies that own them. I have this, this lady, Frances. She called uh, several months ago. She had a very rare type of breast cancer. And um, I, I don't remember the name of it. I could look in the file, but it's, I couldn't pronounce it anyway. And it was growing really fast. I mean, just remarkably fast. And we put her on Cometris, which is an, uh, stops the blood vessel growth that supplies tumors, called angiogenesis. And we put her on Nassau thymus and Nassau pancreas. And, you know, I, I have a lot of people that, that call me about breast cancer, and usually it all works out pretty well. And uh, this one, it wouldn't stop. It just was going crazy. Doctors went in and they cut out the tumor, and she did a little bit of uh, chemotherapy. But, you know, again, it's a very rare type. It's extremely aggressive, and it usually uh, causes a whole lot of damage by this time. And doctors are all amazed that it hasn't progressed the way it normally does. And it's because of all these, you know, glandulars, live cell therapy that she's doing makes a huge difference. I had a man uh, last year with uh, prostate cancer. He, it had spread to his bones and he called up and his, his wife called first and she told me the doctor said he was gonna die, probably had maybe two months left. It spread to his bones, there was nothing they could do for him any further. And I put him on my cancer program and in three months, it's completely undetected. Guy was really cool, just he was so happy. <laughs> since the 100, since not me, but the, uh, the non-profit, he sends them $100 every month, it's kind of cool. So, I mean, he would be dead otherwise, you know.